What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight Team, stand up! March has arrived, FTC is always a vibe. Chef Reacts is back up in the kitchen, whipping up something so fresh and so clean, clean. Today, we are going to be teaching y'all how to make the best perfect steak and eggs. All right, the ingredients you're gonna need, some cheese, you can get any cheese you want, any eggs you want, canola oil. These are the exact seasonings right here that I like to use. You gotta go with the salt, you gotta go with a little bit of that paprika, the garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, slap your mama in the cut, don't actually do so if you wanna live. Random steak seasoning, ribeye, unsalted butter, and then you got the thyme. And y'all, preferably like the top three best steaks that I prefer is either the one I'm using right now, the bone-in ribeye, T-bone, or New York strip cut. I feel like those are like the top three in the Hall of Fame steak meat category. I don't really trust something boneless like steak. All right, y'all, the first step into getting your steak ready and prepare, get yourself a napkin, pat it down a couple of times. Try to leave your steak out and get it to that room temperature for about like seven or 10 minutes. It's gonna give you like a nice, like perfectly like even crust, really crispy. All right, first step, it's time for the seasoning. Now I'm gonna speed this up, but you put a moderate amount of each seasoning on both sides. All right, so it should look something like that for his first side. Now you're just gonna go ahead and we gonna massage it and then flip it right over and then put the same thing on the other side. Don't be afraid to get up in that state, you know what I'm saying? Give it that good massage, you know, he had a long day at work. You're gonna get all that juicy flavor, all that stuff in there. All right, you're gonna go ahead and flip it over. Let me go ahead and wash my hands off right quick. All right, y'all, second round of the seasonings, same thing. When your steak is looking like a consistency like this, you know what I'm saying, on both sides, it is ready to go. All right, y'all, now we're ready to cook the steak. You're gonna go ahead and grab our cooking oil. Make sure you're cooking it and have it set on to like the highest, not highest, but like mid-hot temperature. So I put it on about seven if it goes from one out of 10, and then you like slowly drag it down. I put it about to like six a little bit like later, but you wanna cook it basically three to four minutes on each side of the steak. Go ahead and put that amount. I'll show you the amount that I have in there so you guys don't get confused, all right? Here's a good part. You're just gonna go ahead and take your steak nice and gently. It should sound something like that. All right, now you don't wanna put it too hot because you're gonna cook the steak too fast and the inside is not gonna be cooked all the way. Now there's different tiers of steak. Comment down below which is your favorite one. You have the rare, you have the medium rare, you have the medium, and then you have the rare. Um, we are unlocking a brand new category invented by your boy Gut Reacts as of today. And that is called medium rare medium. And that's really how I like my steak. Like I like my steak to be a little bit, just a little bit pink, but I don't want that thing to be like bleeding, gushing, and everything like that. Don't take your, th oh shit. No, uh, counter's clean. Don't get me too bad on that, you know what I'm saying? You gonna put a thumb? Oh, 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 oh. That thing's supposed to be popping at you though. That's how I'm supposed to do it. All right, thumb on each side. And then you put two pieces of unsalted butter on each side. Oh, sheesh. Hey, if it ain't popping back at you, you ain't doing something right. All right, but your steak should be looking something like this as you're cooking it gradually. Now remember, it only needs to be three and a half to four minutes on each side. All right, now take some type of a spoon, everybody. And what you gonna do right here, you're basically, we're gonna be basing uh, the steak. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna give it that extra little flavor. It helps give the flavor. Now I have a lot of this stuff popping back at me, so hey man, we absorbing all this uh, uh, grease, toughening it out. But you wanna do something like that with the steak. You know what I'm saying? For both sides. It's getting that unsalted butter. It's getting them thyme juices in the steak. Basically, just don't give your steak some more so fresh, so clean, clean flavor. About two more minutes, we gonna flip it over. All right, y'all, now it's time to flip the steak over. You know what I'm saying? Ready to, one, two. Something like that, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Now it's not done yet, it's not done yet. Be here to watch it, you know? Um, Cause the time can go by really fast. Steak is a really amazing uh, meal. You can do so much stuff with it, but it's so easy to mess it up. Another thing that's a good tip to do everybody too, if you have a little bit of paranoia on where your like internal inside the meat is at, get a little knife or something, dig into it. You know what I'm saying? Get a good feeling of where 
it's supposed to be at. And then none at least now I see and have a better, you know what I'm saying, vision on where everything is, is at with my steak. It's nice and done. Let's go ahead and take it off. Let's hit that internal temperature check. Wanna to aim to make sure it's at that 135, the 140 mark. All right, y'all, it is right there if you can see it. At that 140, 135. Yes, sir. Come on now. Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? We about to cut it up now. Remember the thigh you don't eat. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you move that to the side. It ain't gonna kill you, but it's something that you don't also eat. Let me get a fork too. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut into the steak. See our uh, fine work and see what it's talking about. I know y'all wanna bite. Come on now. 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 I know you wanna bite. I know you wanna bite. Come on now. We still gotta make our eggs, you know what I'm saying? This is a two-in-one cooking vid, but man, come on, I know you wanna bite. Or which one you want? Which one? I got all the parts of the steak. I eat the fatty parts, you just gotta cut off the bone and dispose of the bone somewhere in the trash wherever you want. I don't wanna fumble none of this steak. Come on, man, talk to me, talk to me. This that medium rare medium. It still got that pink in it, but at the same time, you see how it's not like gushing blood and stuff like that? This is how I feel like a real perfect steak is supposed to look like. You know what I'm saying? It almost looks like the sunset, like the, what do they call it? Like in like Alaska, something like the Northern Lights. I've always wanted to see it, but that's exactly what this uh, type of steak reminds me of. And that's why I always feel like it's the most perfect. I want you guys, Nanny Man, I need y'all to get a little bite. We gonna taste test it right now. Let me know what y'all favorite type of steak sauce. I mean, you can never go wrong with that A1. And that's honestly the only steak sauce that I have right now. But hey man, we about to dive in and we about to get our raw, full, organic, authentic, Review of the medium, rare medium. Cheers. Taste the juiciness, bro. I mean, who doesn't like a steak, bro? You cook that steak the right way. Holy fuck. Bro, it's gonna do wonders. Bro, this is a 10 out of 10. Like I said, I still need to make my eggs. This is so good, bro. 100% tops the last steak that I made. I don't know if you guys remember, but your friend of mine, Cash Nasty, you guys should know him. We had did a, a steak challenge video about like three years ago. And that was my first time ever making a steak. And I was kind of disappointed. Felt like I could make better. But bro, nah, this steak right here is top tier. This is the war wing. This is the best steak. We still need to whip up them eggs. Let's go ahead and do it so we can add that egg and steak combo. All right, so my camera battery just died, but we on the newest iPhone quality. So we Gucci, all right? So first thing you step, you do with the eggs, get some butter, get any spray butter, any type of butter. Put that pan, because you don't want to have, you know what I'm saying, something sticky on that pan, all right? So you're gonna go ahead and crack the eggs. I can't use two hands for this. All right, so you crack an egg like just like this, you know what I'm saying? That's the perfect way to crack an egg. You want the consistency to look something like this, all right? You just go ahead and put that thing right in there. All right, y'all yeah. right. comment down below, what is y'all favorite type of eggs to have? Sunny side up, uh, uh, over whites. I know there's a scrambled. I mean, depending on the feeling in the, uh, in, in the day, I honestly, kind of just go with either or but today i'm feeling like a little uh sunny side up and with eggs guys do not over season your eggs don't even season it the same way you season your steak all right all you need is black pepper and salt i kind of learned that honestly through like the years i did ask for my eggs sunny side up but hey we got accidental broken yolk right here last thing you're gonna want to do go ahead and put your cheese up in that steak uh, tell me that don't look good. I know I broke the yolk. I fumbled the yolk, but I ain't gonna fumble the egg. High key, low key, these are like my favorite type of eggs where it has that yolk still showing, but it has those egg whites on top of those too, all right? So we about done cooking the eggs. About to have our steak and eggs and see how it tastes. All right, y'all talk to me. Rate the plate. I threw on some avocado on there too. If you're wondering what that green stuff is, it's not an apple. Um, I fucked with avocado. I'll be on that health tip sometimes. If you ain't rating this plate at least an eight and up, out of one out of 10, man, it's straight hating, bro. From the steak, you got that perfect medium, rare medium. You know what I'm saying? You got those per those eggs. Hockey, the best eggs I ever made. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> Do any of y'all put like ketchup or anything on like your eggs? I personally don't. I tried it before, it's okay, but I just prefer the way it is. All right, but, damn. 
completely. This is my favorite, one of my favorite cooking videos, man. Comment down below what I should cook next, y'all. About to scarf down this plate. Um, I had a lot of fun making this uh, steak and eggs the best and perfect way to make them in the entire world. FTC Flight Team Stand up. Yeah. 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 We did it. We did it. We did it.